All right, we are good to go. All right, so we weren't going to give this guy pity. No, we were going to give him pity. We're not going to kill him. That's what I mean. Uh, what we were going to do next? So many things to do. There's this little thing. There's Hosea. Let's go, uh, let's go do this. Oh, I think I was supposed to either kill him or... Like a choice they were giving me. Kinda weird. Look, I thought that was a dead person on the ground. I was like, what the fuck happened here? Calm down there, buttercup. Horse flesh for dinner. Can I help you there? Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everybody and everywhere there's trouble. Who are you? Like I said. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruin this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Slave fuckers. Jesus Christ. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Yeah. Is it the Fire! 
Are we stealing horses from the Brathwaite? The Braithwaite? Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. That's a weird way of going at it. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Yeah. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. That's some dried ass crops you got here. Oh, it's cotton. Wait a cotton picking moment. Alright, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Alright, let's hitch up here. Get your horse. Good boy. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stable. A uh hot -huh. greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing. Business. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Easy now. Easy. You're okay. Marshal, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. There, boy.
Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Shoot the horse! Sorry, babe. Sorry, Bert. Sorry, little horse. Stay close to the horses. We don't need any more trouble. You see any more of them? No? Don't think so. All right. Let's get these horses to Clemens well, Cove. You okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll get him. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Hey, hey! Well, that could have gone smoother. <laughs> That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. <clears throat> Easy! you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clive we're twins fantastic john arthur javier <clears throat> so what are you cuban no i don't like cubans that's so? Maybe. Why, well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. 
And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Goddamn. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. And imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. <laughs> hmm. Come on, Marston. Good morning. There you are. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to Reckon there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies gardening? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. It's always deep in the woods. All right, then. Let's go rob some fools. Come on, it's this way. On me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, 
a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. <laughs> get there eventually. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. See where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring the sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Oh, you see anything? Yes. Yes. There you are. Almost a militia. <sighs> got a Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. Hey, we came all this way, so... Can you look again and see if you spot anything? 
Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Point your scope up a little. What am I looking for her? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, well, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Soon as you shoot, I'll go. Prepare for your guns and your money. Give them up. God damn it. <sighs> I wasn't fast enough. We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Waiting on you. Run the gut.
that, they might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? That's a lot of people. Hey, this could be promised. Oh, you want me to take the wagon? I think we should search the crates, Arthur. Come on. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. We be better on the road, right? Don't spare the nag. Come on. Come on. G up. Yep. Rider, coming our way. Keep it together. Hey, stop! What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons? We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lines! <laughs> Anyone chasing us? I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. Watch out! I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. Good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth brag. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, yeah, so do I. It's for better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But then no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Do 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 do. in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Ooh, doggy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Trey, what the fuck? What are you doing? Idiot. Let's go down to road. Modify this weapon. Let's go. Oh, doggy.
All right. Ooh, doggy. Pick up my hand. Ma'am. What's over here again? I don't remember.
Let's go do Hosea. See what kind of trouble we can get in. I guess he got fired. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Let's get. We're gonna get ourselves in big trouble. Don't mind if I bring my big guns in here, right? Eh? Please come in, sir. Find joys up to this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. Let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. <laughs> the smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah. Using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty hell, bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm not for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So, oh, well, round of applause. <laughs> so far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. You just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. 
Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Highly doubt it. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Dum, dum, dum. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. What do you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. My, my <laughs> rifle's sticking up. Oh, no. I, I mean, you know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> Uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Yeah, and Scott. You and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. God damn. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Uh, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark.
Is it dark yet? How you getting on? Good. You already got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barred burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Boy, there's someone coming on the left. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Nice and slowly. Feel like I'm playing uh, Red Dead Nightmare music there. Come on, come on, come on. Couple more fields there and we should be golden.
Christ, I'm bored. Oh, you won't be bored for long. You won't be bored for long. And slowly, Arthur, get down, get down, Arthur. I'm gonna douse this too. Go lose yourselves a flat cigar. Jesus, my lady.
Oh, my shillelagh. Oh, say you better get us paid real well for this. Bloody right. Down here, come on. Oh, not the horse. Oh, my shillelagh. You almost Jesus, not. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? That freight weight had got our money's worth, all right? Let's just get out of here first. The little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Later. I, I got some business. Right you are, English. Another job well done, I'd say. Oh! It was uh, on the map here. Where is that? At? Yep. Let's go sell me this big Bronco. Well, it's not Bronco, but. A lot of cow pies in there. Uh, sorry. A lot of uh, horse pie. That's a big horse, man. And he is slow as fuck.
It's okay, Betty. What the fuck was that? Goddamn, goddamn. Mother lovers. Not what I wanted to do. Hey, do you want some horses? Morning. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. <laughs> I just shot your brother accidentally, but uh let me let me come back. I'll I'll, I'll, okay. I'll come back. Yeah. Easy. Whoa. I'm just gonna take another short little break. I have to go pee again. So don't drink too much water when you do stuff like this. It's like drinking too much alcohol. You go once you once you open the floodgate, it never stops. I'll be right back very shortly. Once more. All right, we're back. We're back. Technically, in one hour, there's gonna there's gonna be 24 hours, but I'm gonna do it till eight. So technically, we roll back an hour. So hopefully this is the final stretch. I won't have to get up again. I'll keep I'll keep going with this game because it is keeping me active. Uh, I feel like I'm a lot uh, <coughs> a lot more ahead than I was last year. At this time, La last year this time I was just like I was feeling woozy. I was like I had a headache. I had like I, I didn't prepare that much mentally and like physically for it. And I I think the diet helped a lot this year. That I like I'm actually not eating just sugary food like I, I just i say that and i just ate a, like a halloween chocolate bar just to, so i can get the last two hours done just to get some sugar but like uh i usually don't do that on a regular day like to eat chocolate for my diet and stuff like that but uh i think that that has helped a lot uh not eating uh uh like a vast amount of sugar like eating fatty foods that has a constant burn instead of eating sugar that has like a high and then it crashes right away uh, I think that helped a lot. Kept hydrated, which also led to me getting up a lot and going to go pee. But I think that's a good thing because at least I'm, I'm like moving my body. And it gets it back into motion. And just talking like this, which I haven't done a lot in the last couple hours, uh, is actually helping me a bit. So we're still uh, with a total off with the offline donations. We're at three hundred thirty-five dollars. Uh, last year is three eighty. But I'm still happy that we did get more than $300. Uh, I wish we would get the 500 but 
with two hours left, people are just barely starting to get up. I don't think I'll go and get more to donations today. Uh, but I still, I'm still very happy that we've reached this amount. I think I'm close to, to in the whole four years, I think I'm almost to a thousand dollars, which is really awesome. I really appreciate that. Chio is an awesome hospital. I haven't, uh, personally, I haven't used it a lot. I think we went once or twice with my kids. They're just like, I guess I'm, um, I'm lucky enough that my kids don't have to go to that hospital often a lot. But um, I should I should save this speech for the end. But I just wanted to, like, just get get the get my mind working a bit more here, because uh, just the monotony of just working the game all the time it gets long after a while. But uh, I do really appreciate everybody that stopped by, donated a lot of people, family members, uh, uh, coworkers, uh, people I've met online that have donated, and it's a real really big thanks. Really appreciate it. That's uh. I don't do, I'm not, I'm not a person that does a lot of these type of things during the year, but I, I, I really enjoy this. Like I get to play video games like for 24 hours, which is fun. Everybody's like, Oh, that's fun. You get to play video games. I have to say the last freaking five hours has been the toughest so far. And I still have two more to go. And they're really tough. The last two hours, especially if you're not pre mentally prepared for it. Uh, like I said, uh, because of I feel because I've been taking a bit better care of myself in the last three four months, I do feel the difference. The first twelve hours, like I could do twelve hour streams, no problem. Like I, after the twelve hour, I think I already I only had like a coffee and I had one good meal and I I would have been uh, I was fine. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna keep going. We still have another two hours. It's six o'clock right now, as you can see. To and technically an hour left before we do twenty four, but we're gonna go to twenty five. And then we'll stop there. So uh, let's just keep going. Mr. Arthur Morgan has a lot more to do before he goes to bed. I want to just fucking give this goddamn horse to our friend over here. I just accidentally shot. <laughs> now this is the period of the day where the, the yawning is starting. It's not what it looks like, horse. Buttercup, it's not what it looks like. What you want? Arthur. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Dom, back to go more. Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Are you serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. 
And y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right. Follow me. Are we really gonna ride all the way over there? That's a long fucking ride. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot for them. What the fuck just happened? God damn it. <sighs> okay, let's move out. Yeah. Whoa. So, what's the idea here? Karen going to distract him? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She makes one of her scenes, catch him off guard, then we move in. Make one of her scenes? Charming. I'll have you know I'm a professional. Is that so? She is real good. I can give you drunken harlot, of course. Lost little girl, whatever the crowd wants. What about lost little drunk girl? Only you would want that. Then me and Lenny will deal with the guards and the customers while you hit the vault. I thought you only brought me for insurance. All right. I'll hit the vault. No, no. I got it. I know, if you... Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Greys and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us dipped. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, okay. Fuck so, like you were saying before, we got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago. And now, we're working for the law. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, they 
It's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Hosea, while I do all the dirty work. Just like the old days. Something like that. Another bank, Miss Jones. Been a while. Hey, Arthur. Remember that bank in Tucson? All them years ago? You, me, and Javier? <laughs> of course, how can I forget? <laughs> the nun. Thou shalt not steal a habit from the local convent. Whose idea was that? I forget. I just know the guards were searching everyone on the way in for guns. Except for sweet sister Karen. Two shotguns and a pistol you had under your skirt. <laughs> I'm surprised you could even walk. That was a good take, too, if I remember right. It was. And apart from that one fellow you shot in the knee, nobody got hurt. If only they all went like that. Ready, Karen? Damn right. Looking forward to this. Just be careful. Of course. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, you rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. That'll have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Karen? Go to work. Of course. All right. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. Decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. You really. 
really do. If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right, hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Oh, you think we're here for fun? No. Come on. Oh. Open the goddamn vault! No. Open it! Oh. Oh. How's it going in there? Too slowly! You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Don't make me hurt Damn it. you. Too goddamn slow! Shut up, a bitch! Hurry up! Come on! Last warning, motherfucker. behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but uh, you better be quick. <clears throat> You shut the hell up and stay still. Oh shit, okay. Slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Nice and slowly. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Just yet. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Last 
last one. Good. We gotta move. Come on, come on. We can do this. That is a lot of fucking money right here. I think... Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Come on. Never come back here again. Let's go. Let's keep going. That's a lot of money we got here, man. I really want to keep all of it. I'm almost there. I know. They're still coming. Come on, get across. Gotta beat that train, Morgan. Got it. Don't Not for you, lawman. Not for you. U.S. Marshals. All right. I think we lost them. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. That is a lot of money Bill, I think I just stole. This is a very good take. That should be happy. Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. Uh, what was I going to do? Tell me how much money I just made.
Yeehaw! husband's not cold in the ground and you come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Good day to you, ma'am. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, two thousand five hundred dollars. Holy smackery! Good evening. What did I? Some disease ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Me and Lenny brought some guns in. 
Robbed him off that gang that runs around here. Good work, Arthur. I figure you'd know best how to sell him. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Okay, fella. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Man, that was shit with trash. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so... Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Found anything? Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. You see? Anything there? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe, uh... Twelve hours ago? But no body? Not yet. Hmm. Look. Tracks. Come on. Hmm. They went down the path here. What are tracking these days? All right. I guess. Hmm. Well. Lead the way, then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special town. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if... We do. Depends on how much you want to find him. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. 
Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come here. They'll be down a while. You stay there. Is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. <laughs> Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. That's how you do it. All right, that should do it. Come on, let's go. Following you, Follow man. Me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. <laughs> if he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward. Where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. This is going to be no bueno. This is just trouble. That must be it. Whoa. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brothers! Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. 
They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Look at the birds. Go that way. Come on, cowards. This is the worst game of hide and seek ever. Over there, where the birds are. I think I heard something this way. One more. One more, Charles. Look at the bird. Go that way. Four dollar. I'm gonna find you, don't worry. Hey! I see something on the ground over here! He's dumped his gear. Look around, he can't have gone far. You 
see anything? Oh, I knew it. He's mine. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Come on. Whew, that was close. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Oh, God damn it. Gunshots are coming from that bar. Yeah, pretty much. Should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, uh... does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Woo wee. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course... They didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. I don't trust him. Ooh, there's an hour and ten minutes left. There seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but leave it.